Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to unlock the hidden nav bar tuner to customize the buttons on your Nexus. Now, a couple of things before we start. First, you'll need to have a custom recovery installed to get this one going, and second, you'll also need to be running Nougat. And I mentioned the Nexus requirement in the cold open, but to expand on that, this is only available for the Nexus 6, Nexus 9, Nexus 5X, and Nexus 6P. Requirements to the side though, let me tell you what's going on here. Basically, Google started working on a new system UI tuner that lets you remove, reorder, and add buttons to the navigation bar at the bottom of your screen. But they apparently didn't think it was ready for the public, so they hid it from view before they released the final version of Android 7.0. Well, developer Al Araki found a way to activate this hidden menu, and all it takes is a flashable zip. Before you get started though, the first thing you should do is enable the system UI tuner on your device. That's as easy as holding down the little gear icon in your quick settings panel for about 10 seconds. But if you want some troubleshooting tips, you can find those at the full tutorial. And speaking of the full tutorial, once you've enabled the system UI tuner, just head on over there from the link in the description. Next, just find your device in the list in step 1, then make sure the build number listed here matches up with the Android version you're currently running. That's an important one, so if you're not sure about your build number, head to About Phone and Settings beforehand. But aside from that, just tap the right link to download the flashable zip, and when that's finished, go ahead and boot into Custom Recovery. Now from here, the first thing you should do is make sure you have a recent Android backup. This zip shouldn't cause any issues, but making that backup could save you a lot of frustration if something went wrong somehow. I just made one yesterday, but if you want to create an Android, just tap the backup button in TWRP, then swipe the slider. It's that easy. Aside from that though, just tap the install button on TWRP's main menu, then navigate to your download folder. From here, select the navbar zip file that you downloaded earlier, then swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install it. When that's finished, go ahead and tap reboot system, then you'll be ready to try it out. When you get back up, head to the bottom of your settings menu and select system UI tuner. From here, you should see a new entry called Navigation Bar, so go ahead and open that. Now this is the hidden menu. It was created by Google, so it's not some hacky workaround. Basically, each button that's listed here can be resized, removed, or reordered, and that's what each of these icons to the right of the entries are for. First one lets you adjust padding, second one lets you remove a button, and the third one is a drag handle that you can use to reorder all these items. If you want to reorder these, keep in mind that the top of the list is the left of your nav bar, and the bottom is the right. You can even see a few subheaders that say start, center, and end. But aside from all that, you can even add your own custom buttons. To do that, just tap add button at the bottom of the screen, then you'll see the available options. Most of these are straightforward, but the one that has the most potential is this key code option. This basically lets you add a button that sends any keyboard command, so it would be good for adding arrow keys or media playback controls. The only downside though is that you have to have your own icons to use this. So after you pick a function, it'll prompt you to select an image. If you're in the market for some free icons, I linked out a good website in step 3 at the full tutorial, so hopefully that helps. Aside from that, once you've got everything arranged to your liking, just tap the save button at the top of the screen and your customized nav bar will show up immediately. You don't have to reboot or anything, so that lets you play around with these options until you get it right. Overall, I think Google should have left this one unhidden because it's pretty good as it stands and it definitely adds some cool functionality. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.